Hi! Welcome to Coms PH and today we will talk about audio principles. So what is sound? Sound compromises the spoken word, voices, music, and even noise. And when we say audio, it is a digitized form of sound. So, anong ibig sabihin nun? When I speak, when I sing, when I clap, when I snap, that is a sound. I am producing a sound. But when I recorded those sounds, it becomes an audio. Like this one, I am speaking, I am snapping, I am clapping, I am recording a sound. So, when you will listen to this video, that is now an audio. So, you can say that I watched a video with an audio. You cannot say I watched a video with a sound. So, dapat audio kasi digital form na siya. So, sana nagets gets yun. Yun yung pinaka madaling uh, explanation sa difference ng sound and ng audio. So, ang sound, usually ginagamit siya for analog form and audio for digital form. So, what is the difference between analog and digital audio? So, here we have an example. For example, this is the sound wave of my voice, original sound wave of my voice. Sa analog, we are just replicating it. Okay, so ang best example ng analog medium ay vinyl records and cassette tapes. When you say digital audio naman, you are, sorry, in digital audio, you are taking samples in the original sound wave in a specified rate. This means on and this means off. So, ang best examples ng digital mediums ay CDs and MP3 files. So, what is the difference between audio and MIDI naman? Pag sinabing MIDI, it is a music instrument digital interface. So, this is a protocol that allows computers, musical instruments, and hardwares to communicate. So, kapag sa audio, when you recorded an audio, it looks like this. And... For example, merong part dyan na nagkaroon ka ng error. For example, ay habang nagre-record ka ay may tumahol na aso or may sumigaw na kapitbahay ninyo. It's either um, puputulin nyo yung part na merong sumigaw or ire-record mo ulit yung buong audio. So, sa audio, it is what we hear. No? Yun kapag audio. Kapag sa MIDI naman, ganito ang itsura niya kapag nag-edit kayo sa MIDI. Uh, madalas nito nakikita sa mga games, I think. No, yung ganyang itsura. Pero ganito ang itsura pag nag-edit ka sa MIDI. No. For example, same scenario dun sa kanina. Halimbawa, dito naman, nagkaroon ka ng error kasi... Meron kang napindot na malingki sa iyong piano. So, dito, pwedeng, kung ito yung tatlong key na nagkamali ka, pwede mo tong i-delete. And then, you can just record another sa part na to. Yun ang difference dito at saka dito. Okay? So, if you want to know more about audio and MIDI, meron akong i-link na video sa baba na mas may explain yung difference sa kanilang dalawa. So, if you have a laptop that you can install these interfaces, you can try para mas maintindihan nyo siya. No? And, pag nagkaroon na ulit tayo na face-to-face, -face, maybe we can try using this in our laboratory exercises. Okay? So, kapag nagkaroon na tayo ng face-to-face -face classes and makakapag-conduct na tayo ng computer laboratory activities, so, pag nag-edit tayo ng audio, ang gagamitin natin ay Audacity. So, Audacity is a free or open source software. It is easy to use, multi-track audio editor and recorder, and the interface is translated into many languages. So, if meron kayong PC or laptop sa bahay, you can try installing Audacity para maging familiar kayo sa interface. And if you are into recording some music, audio, uh, or editing audio, you can try using Audacity. Okay? So, there are different 
audio file format. So, pag nakita nyo tong mga file formats na to, ibig sabihin audio siya. Huwag nyo hahanapan ng um, visual na video, okay? So, audio ito pag nakita nyo yung mga file formats na to. So, AIF and SND are for Macintosh systems sa mga Apple, ayan. WAV for Windows systems, MIDI files used by North Macintosh and Windows, WMA for Windows Media Player, .mp3 for MP3 audio, .ra for Real Player, .voc for VOC sound, AIFF sound format for Macintosh sound files, and .ogg for OGG for best. So, these are just the examples of audio file formats. And what are the software used for audio? So, pwede kayong mag-try, mag-install ng mga to sa mga PC or sa mga laptop ninyo. So, one of them is the Audacity. So, yun yung gagamitin natin. Pero you can try this also. So, the sound recorder for Microsoft. Apple's QuickTime Player Pro. Sonic Foundry's Forge for Windows. Sound Edit 16, Wondershare Demo Creator, WavePad, Ocean Audio, Adobe Audition, Wavosaur, Mixpad, Soundforge, Spec, and Audio Hijack. So, pwede nyong itry itong mga to kung gusto nyong mag-record ng audio or mag-edit ng audio. Pero, I suggest yung Audacity kasi yun talaga yung pinakamadaling gamitin and yun nga open source siya. So, this is the logo of Audacity. Pag nag-install kayo, ito yung uh, logo na titingnan ninyo pag nag-install kayo. And this is the Audacity's interface. Ayan. So, madali lang tong gamitin. You can explore. So, these are the things that you can do when you edit a digital recording or a digital sound. So, you can multiple task. You can trim. You can splice and uh, assembly, volume adjustments, format conversion, resampling or downsampling, equalization, digital signal processing, reversing sounds, and time stretching. So you can refer to our um, lecture dun sa in upload ko sa ating LMS. So sa mga merong laptop and mga PC, you can try to install audacity and you can try this so pag nagkaroon naman na tayo ng face to face mas may explain ko naman to sa inyo so ayun and doon naman sa mga walang PC or walang laptop you can try installing bandlab in your uh, smartphones you can try to edit there also. Ilalagay ko naman yung instruction sa ating LMS, pero um, sa ngayon, yung mga may mobile phone or yung may mga smartphone, you can install BandLab, and yung mga may PC and may laptop, you can now try editing in Audacity and try, please try this. No? So, you can check it in the uh, lecture natin para uh, mas alam nyo kung ano yung ibig sabihin ng bawat isa. And then, pag nagkaroon na tayo ng face-to-face, I will explain to everyone and teach how to do these things. Okay? So, ayun lang. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope uh, it helped you to understand the lectures, though it is just a short explanation. Pero sana naintindahan nyo siya. If you have questions, you can comment down below or uh, message in our group chat. And see you again in my next video. Bye!